Hi guys, Evil Mac Mara here, and I just want to start this video by saying I hope you all are having an amazing day. Uh, sorry for the lighting, I know it might be kind of dark. Um, it's extremely um, sad and gloomy today where I live. I don't know if you guys can see, I'll try to show you. I'm like, oh my god, it's fine. It's, you can't really tell. Okay. That wasn't helpful at all because you can't really see it, but it's very cold and very gloomy today in Colorado. Um, I I want to apologize for um, taking so long to come out with another video. Um, I know a couple of you have asked if I was in the process of recording one or if I was going to come out with one soon. And um, I, I had plans to make a video last week and then things happened and it was just a bad week and I was feeling very disheartened and kind of <laughs> not depressed I guess I don't want to say depressed like I was sitting in a corner crying in the dark but just it was a rough week so I, I the point of this video um or the plan for this video was to be just another update because you guys have been following along I know with uh my journey to the con booth and uh I had plans to kind of talk about things regarding the booth and the convention that my booth is going to be at and just different announcements for things that were going to be happening um, cosplay-wise for me and stuff for the beginning of the con season. And then I decided I kind of wanted to start this video and have it be somewhat of a heart-to-heart -heart, um, due to events that took place. Um, for those of you that follow me on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that, I received kind of a hurtful comment last week, um, and I preface this with saying that it's not the first time, you know, I received like negative comments or a mean comment. Um, I know that I am not like supermodel, I'm not the, you know, a size two, and I tend to receive comments along those lines of people reassuring me, hey, you know, you're not super skinny, and those tend not to bother me because I'm like, yeah, I know. Thank you, um, but I I had received this comment via Tumblr and from an anonymous source, which for those of you who are on Tumblr know that people can send messages to you under the anonymous tag, which I think is just a horrible thing because it gives people like complete license to be as mean as they want to be. Um, and it's just like, why? Why do we have that? Um, so someone sent me an anonymous message saying and I'm sorry if you do follow me on Facebook and stuff and you're like I'm not hearing you talk about this but I just I need to get it out I feel like I need to get it out and I need to move on and and come to terms with it in a way so I received an anonymous comment basically saying hey you th the reason you like to um cosplay as guys um or I like to uh, all my dream cosplays are male characters just to just to give you some backstory on that I I have a lot of male characters that I want to cosplay. And this person was basically saying, the reason you want to do guy cosplays is because you're ugly and you're a prude. And I was like, oh, okay, anonymous person. Thank you for your insight. And I tend not to let negative comments bother me because in all honesty, I don't receive a ton. You know, I don't get them on a daily basis. I don't get them... You know, every time I post a picture, I don't have negativity all the time. Um, for every, like, negative comment I get, I probably get, like, a hundred positive ones. So, usually, I tend to not let it bother me that much. But for whatever reason, when I got this comment, it, it was just, like, it was, like, I, I guess I say right place, right time, but, like, not really. But it was just a combination of, you know, I haven't been feeling, you know, I've been dealing with some stuff. I haven't been feeling super well, so I haven't been sleeping. My sleep schedule is, is totally opposite of what it should be. So I've been really tired the past couple weeks and just really kind of out of it and not feeling great. And then I just happened to be up late and I went on Tumblr and I was like, oh, a message. You know, you're always like, oh, that's nice. And then you read it and you're like, oh, no. And so it just... It was very much like an arrow to the heart. I was like, oh my gosh, seriously? Why would you say something so mean? So, you know, I did probably the stupidest thing. I, I kind of look back, I'm like, that was probably immature. But I went on, a, on Twitter and I was like, somebody on Tumblr said this. And apparently, you know, I'm ugly. And, and it was one of those like reactions where I was like, 
Well, probably shouldn't have done that because I feel like if it's somebody who follows me on Facebook or follows me on Twitter, then they see me posting about it and they're like, oh, sweet, I got to her, you know, I, I, I affected her and, you know, I that's probably not the best thing to do because you don't want to, like, feed the trolls, in essence. You don't want to make them feel like they got to you, but I was upset, and I'm sure some people out there see it, and they're like, oh, great, you know, you're going to post something negative because you want a pity party. You want people to reassure you and make you feel better, and in all honesty, yeah, kind of. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I kind of wanted to post and be like, somebody say that they're wrong, you know, it's horrible, and, and ultimately, I got... The biggest and most wonderful outpouring of love from people on Facebook, people on Twitter, um, people in my family that were like, that's not true, you know, and, and it was really heartwarming and sweet and wonderful. And I can't even tell you guys how much all of your, you know, love and encouragement and positivity has really lifted my spirits and made me feel, you know, a whole lot better. And I just want to say that you know, it, if you get negative comments and stuff, you know, people always say, oh, just, you know, they're just jealous. They don't, you know, they don't understand you. They just want to be you. They just wish they could be doing what you're doing. Just don't let it affect you. And also it's like, yeah, don't let it affect you. But at the same time, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, but that's easier said than done, you know? And I know that there are people out there that get probably way more negative comments than I do, probably, you know, that are, have a much bigger following that have more exposure that get some really nasty things said to them and every, you know, and you should just let it go and not let it bother you. But you know, it is easier said than done. And so I kind of, I don't know if I wanted to make this video. I don't know if I want it to be a heart to heart or a public service announcement that yes, there are negative people in the world. There are horrible people in the world that just sometimes want to be mean, but at the end of the day, there are positive people in everyone's life. I know some people say, you know, I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody that supports me. But I bet if you look hard enough and, you know, you will find those people because I know that everybody has that. And if you don't have that, I will be your positive person. Like, you are amazing. Anybody who makes a costume, puts it on, and then goes out in public, you know, to a convention, to a photo shoot, to anything, you are so brave. You are a brave person, even, and not just in terms of cosplay, but anybody who really does anything and then, you know, makes art, um, makes cosplay, you know, makes food, is a chef, is a mechanic, anybody that does anything and then has to, you know, put it out in the public eye or, you know, give it to someone and be like, here's the thing I made, here's the thing I did for you. You know, you are subject to criticism and it's it's scary and it's unsettling sometimes, but it's the bravest thing that anyone could ever do. Um, I have a lot of amazing people in my life that are cosplayers, that are musicians, that are artists, that are writers, and you know, they, they put they put themselves out there all the time and I know it's super scary and it it's 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 almost really you're just I don't want to say it's like exposing yourself because that sounds wrong, but it is like, you're like exposing your soul. I guess I'll say it that way so it doesn't sound super wrong, but you know, you're putting yourself out there and if you've even taken that step to do that, then you are an amazing person and don't ever let anybody tell you that you are wrong or that what you're doing is stupid or that what you're doing is wrong or that what you're doing is, you know, a waste of time. Because if you're doing something that you love and you're passionate and you're putting yourself out there, go you. Seriously, go you guys. So, I guess, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I didn't want to make this video to, like, linger on the, the negativity that I received, but it's just, we all have to take the time to encourage each other and to lift each other up. So, you know, I encourage all of you, if you have people in your life that you know are doing things that are pushing themselves outside their comfort zone, you know, take a minute to just give them a little bit of encouragement. And I've, the thing that, that this whole incident has taught me is that I have a lot of amazing people in my life that really take the time to encourage me and I need to do better at reciprocating. I need to reciprocate that, that support and that positivity. So I really want to be better about lifting other people up, you know, and not, not taking people for granted, I guess, is, is the moral of this long story. Don't take people in your life for granted. You know, love them, encourage them, support them.
appreciate them. And I appreciate everybody. I don't have a huge following of people. Um, I don't have a huge following of people here on YouTube or Facebook or anything, but I appreciate every single person I have because, you know, they are taking their time. You know, they don't have to, people don't have to write nice comments. People don't have to take the time to like a picture or comment on a picture or send you a message. You know, they're taking their time to do something nice for you, to be encouraging and to be positive and tell you, hey, I like what you're doing. I think you're pretty great. So that, that to me is, is so heartwarming. It's people take the time to acknowledge me or to like a picture. You know, that takes time. People don't have to do it. Nobody has to like your page. Nobody has to like your costume. Nobody has to do anything. So I feel like as people, you know, just take the time to appreciate that. And if you get negative comments, you know, they all say, you know, delete and ban, you know, and move on. I say delete, ban, move on and go and read through all the positive comments that you've gotten. All the people saying how much they like your costumes or like your art or, or like your music or even just like a picture that you've posted. You know, go through and, and take the time to, you know, delete the bad comment, ban the person if you have to, if they're being bad, and then go and read all the positive comments people have given you because it will really boost you. It, it will give you a good sense of, of, of feeling better. And I even encourage you to go one step further and then take a moment to say something nice to somebody else because then them coming to you and be like, oh, you know, it's so nice of you to say, will make you feel better. Like, it seriously does. I feel, I appreciate it so much when people say nice things to me, but I always feel a little bit better when I go on somebody else's page and, and comment on a picture that they have or a piece of art or music or go on YouTube and watch their videos. Like, I really enjoyed watching your video and I'm so happy that you made it, you know, and it really, you know was a positive part of my day. So that long rant, all to say that I know it, it's difficult. I know the more you put yourself out there, the harder it gets, the more negativity you're going to encounter. But I guarantee you, and I don't want to scare off any like new people to cosplay being like, oh my gosh, the cosplay world is full of trolls. That's not true. It's just those people stick out more. It's like the squeaky wheel, you know, those people are the ones you hear and the ones you see. So just don't be afraid. Just do what you want to do and have fun with it. And the positive people, you know, focus on the positive. Focus on the positive. Those people are there. They might, you know, I know that the negative sticks in the back of your head, but just go through, read those positive comments, leave some positive comments, spread the positivity and the love. Um, I think that will be the end of my weird rant. Moving on to, I, I know what the point of this video was going to be originally is updates. So I am, and still working on stuff for my booth, um, I don't have a whole lot to show because um, I'm kind of having to, financially wise, I'm kind of having to spread out, um, creating things, making things. Um, I've gotten some really great ideas. I'm really excited to show you guys, but I just have to make them first. Um, uh, working on lots of earrings. Um, for some of you that know, I've gotten really into perler beads, which are, um, for people that don't know, like melty beads, you, you, you make little decorative things on a board, you melt them together. Uh, I've been working on some fun ideas for that. Hopefully we'll have some stuff to show you. I might do two videos this week if I can get some stuff done to show you guys. And for those, um, of you that are in Colorado that might be attending the convention that where my booth is. It was originally going to be at a convention called Colorado Kamikaze Con. That's a tongue twister. Due to some issues with people associating this convention with Stan Lee's Kamikaze, which I know probably a lot of people have heard of, the name has been changed to Colorado Cosmic Con. Um, so if you look it up on Facebook, they have a whole new page. They're working very hard to get everything out. Uh, new website, new page inviting everybody again and getting all the information and everything out there. Unfortunately, it, it's sad they had to change their name, but I, you know, it, it's one of those things where, oh, I get it. Yeah. There's too much confusion. They don't want it, um, people to think that they're associated with that at all. I know like Wizard World has conventions all over. So I think people were getting confused thinking that this might be like a Stan Lee thing. Um, and it's not, it's its own little independent convention. So they are working very hard on that. Um, the people, um, for CCC, or I, I've been calling it C3 because it's just easier, um, are working very hard, very diligent, and they're very amazing people. So if you have a chance, check them out on 
Facebook. I'll leave a link to their uh, new Facebook page below so you can check it out. If you're in Colorado, definitely come visit Colorado Springs. It's going to be May, I'm sorry, March 23rd, 22nd through 25th. I can't completely remember now, but I'll put all the information in the link below. Sorry. Um, I'm also very excited to be a part of a cosplay group for the first time ever. I've never done a cosplay group ever before. Um, the only, the most I've done is like, I guess a cosplay duo um, with my niece, Nova Knight Cosplay. I'm also going to leave a link to her Facebook page below. You should check her out. She's um, amazing and creative and beautiful and very sweet and you should definitely go like her page. Um, I'll leave a link below. And so her and I have actually um, gotten together with about six other women to do a group cosplay for Denver Comic Con, which will be in May. And we are going to do Sailor Avengers, and we're very excited. It's, it's so far, it's been a really awesome group of ladies. We're having a lot of fun um, working on ideas together. We're kind of, we're not doing so much traditional, it's Sailor Scouts mixed with Avengers, so it's like a mashup, but we're not doing, I, I've seen some people do Sailor Avengers before. We're kind of switching it up a bit. We're not doing traditional sailor, um, iconic parts. I, it, it's going to be, it's very different, very unique. It's kind of a mashup of eight different people throwing in ideas, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're probably going to be doing, well, we're most definitely going to be doing the Denver Comic Con cosplay contest, so that will be fun. This is going to be my first, I think for a f most of the girls, it's going to be the first time doing like a really big legit costume contest like up on a stage in front of a lot of people so it's a little it's exciting a little nerve-wracking I don't know how to go I think it'll be a lot of fun though I'm excited simply because you know it's less nerve-wracking when you can go up on stage with eight people like if you're up there by yourself it's scary but I'm very excited to have all of us together and I think that'll be a lot of fun um last year at Denver Comic Con I was a part of a panel called women in the geek industry which was amazing. I, I got to be on the panel with uh, Bonnie Burton, Jen Timms, and Vicki Connolly, who are three amazing women. And I felt so out of place. I was like, you guys are so awesome and I miss me. But <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And um, I that panel will definitely be happening again this year at Denver Comic Con. I think I will be a part of it. No, nothing is really confirmed. We haven't really worked out all the details, but I'm hoping to be a part of it again. So that'll be a lot of fun. So if you guys are going to Denver Comic Con, um, check out, you know, be sure to watch future videos. I will, as, as things get closer and things are confirmed, I will be making announcements about panels and I will be um, doing more vlogs surrounding the girls that I'm going to be in a cosplay group. Hoping to get maybe a little bit of footage of us working on costumes. Um, and once we're all done doing photo shoots and, and all that. So definitely check out future videos. Um, a lot of stuff is going to be happening in the next few months as we gear up towards um, C3 and DCC. So I'll be sure to vlog more. I also, Colorado Cosmic Con, as it is now, is going to be the first convention that I'm going to try and actually vlog at. Um, this is um, their first annual convention, um, so it's a, it's a newbie convention, and I'm a newbie at having a booth, so we're gonna be like little newbies together, and it's gonna be a noob at a noob convention, doing noob things, and hopefully vlogging, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So definitely check out future videos. I'm gonna try and have another video up very soon of stuff I'm working on so thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed watching please like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys later bye